and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic for some more Sudoku fun. And um, we have a very interesting puzzle from Grookles today. I'll get to that in a moment. I do want to say thank you to all the new Patreons over the last couple of days. Brilliant to see people signing up. I hope it is going to help us get to the 5,000 Patreons number that we need to trigger the new Sudoku hunt, um, the murder mystery which uh, has come in from some of the discord users we're really looking forward to that uh, now of course as well as our apps and patreon all on the links under the video the discord server is very active and regularly recommend puzzles to us and i think simon's done one earlier today and i get to do this one by grookles which is called the orin now i had to look up this word um and I may still have mispronounced it. And I'm guessing that Grookles is not particularly a fan of the five-piece Swedish boy band Orin, but more likely has been reading or watching The Neverending Story, a movie I don't know very well, I have to admit. But in that, there is an amulet, I think, called the Orin, which is basically two snakes in this classical... Um, Uroboros pose wound in together and uh, eating each other's tail and I think that's what's given rise to the name for this puzzle because what we have it's a beautifully simple rule set normal Sudoku rules uh, cages show their sums normal little killer uh, sorry normal killer stuff and the two grey shapes in the grid are exact clones of each other. So that's going to mean that if this is a one, then this is a one as well. And so on along the whole length of these snake or Z-shaped clones. Um, intriguing that this puzzle... Oh, we get one given digit as well, of course, of four. Thank you so much, Grookles. Don't often get to deal with a given digit these days, but uh, that's there too. So... Intriguing that this can give a unique solution. I'm really looking forward to it. Do give it a try on the link under the video. And I am going to start now. Let's get cracking. Um, and let's get cracking with a 23 cage in three cells. That has to be 986 for the numbers to be different Sudoku numbers. And one of those is on the clone. And look, look where that is. That is a perfect start. That's a very generous start from the constructor for us. We can put in a six there because obviously in a three cell cage adding up to nine, you can't have an eight or nine. Um, so I don't know why I then type them in. You get six, two, one there, six, eight, nine here. The sixes match because of the clones. And then you look for something else to do. There's a seven cage on the clone here. So that must be a seven cage down here as well, obviously an exact clone seven cage. Then these three add up to 17. They include one cloned cell and another down there, and that's not actually of any interest. Ah, ah yes, column six. 31 plus six is 37. Now, do you know the secret of the ineffable 45, which is always the sum of one to nine, whether it be in a row, column, or box? So these three cells are 45 minus six minus 31. They add up to eight. Uh, so we know there's a one in them. And I'm going to corner mark it, even though I'm looking across a box boundary. Uh, how can we use that? Okay, well, these are on the clone, aren't they? So those cells also become one, two, three, four, or five. Ah, those ones can't be one or two in that box. That's getting quite interesting. The one is now confined to one of these two cells in column six. Um, what else can we do with that or something else. So let's try this column. Yes, 19 plus 4 is 23. Again, we take that away from the secret number of 45. These three cells add up to 22. So it's a bit symmetrical with column 6. They include a 9 and either 8, 5 or 6, 7. Um, I don't know. None of them are on the 
clone. This is 24, so these add up to 21. And these add up to 19. None of that seems all that helpful. 19 and 21 are as close to averaging out at 5. The middle number is, makes no difference. Oh, I see. Yes, I do. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I do see. Look at these cells. They are clones. They're, they're all on the top left snake. They are clones of those cells. But look at these cages. They add up to 19 in the top and 31 in the bottom. Now, we can do some sort of algebra here. If you call these cells X, Y, and Z, then... 19 minus x, y, and z gives us these numbers. 31 minus x, y, and z gives us these numbers. So there must still be a difference of 12, as there is for the whole cage, between these two added together and these two, which are bigger. So, a difference of 12. The maximum these two can be is 9 and 8, 17. A difference of 12 from that is 5. So that's the maximum these can be. Therefore, they add up to 3, 4, or 5. There's a 4 already in the column. Oh, this is symmetry again. This is brilliant. Uh, so they're made up from 1, 2, and 3. These two, which now have to be either... They have to total either 3, 4, or 5, plus 12, 15, 16, or 17. Yeah, they are made up of 9, 8, and 7 in some pairing. And I'm sure there's a way we can use that. Yes. No, what? Oh. Maybe not. How do we know what is the... Well, we know the difference is 12. So if we're missing a 9 down here, we'll be missing a 3 up there. Um... Oh, here's something else I'm just thinking about. This six-cell run of um, cells on the clone is, this, well, is exactly the same as that one. Now, in their rows, that means these trios are made up of the same digits. Oh, that doesn't really help, actually, does it? How do we... How do we get any further? What are these? Oh, okay, these add up to three, four, or five. So these add up to 16, 15, or 14. Not using nine or four. I suppose they use whatever's left over from here. Eight, five, or seven, six. What are they? Uh, it's a variable number, so I don't know how to rule something out from that. Ah, look at these cells. These are interesting. In, in box 6, they can't be 6, 1, and 2. In box 2, they can't be 6, 8, or 9. So they must be selected from the other four digits, 3, 4, 5, and 7. Oh, this added up to 8, didn't it? And that's got a 3, 4, or 5 there, so it can't possibly have a 5 down here. So that can't have a 5 in it. Um, oh, now I'm noticing that these ends... Oh, I see, yeah. That end is the same as that end, of course. And in the middle row, that is different from that, and that means that this has four different numbers from this. I don't know how to use that at all. Ah, oh, 3, 4, 5, and 7, 8, 9, and 6 up there. So 2 and 1 have to be in this row. I've already got one pencil mark. 2 has to be somewhere in it as well. And that is in these three cells. They have to contain a 1 and a 2. Um, if that's five, they can be one and two. If it's a four, one and three. Oh, come on, come on, think about this. There must be something else. 
to notice about the puzzle. Seven, oh, right, 24. These add up to 21. Um, no, I don't know how to use that. Again, it's still quite variable. I mean, I guess the minimum for those is 11, so these have to be at least 10. Almost rules out a one or a two there, but not quite. This one sees a lot of things, and I don't know how to use it. Oh, I'm struggling a bit here. Sorry, guys. Let's let's think again. What am I missing about these relationships? Something. Yeah, all those seven have to be different. That's these seven. Uh, these ones can't have a one or a two. Oh, there's a one in one of those cells. There's a one in one of those cells. So none of those can be a one in box eight. But I don't know. Oh, there must... No, I was going to say there must be a one and two there. That's not necessarily the case. 19. What's going on here? If this is nine, seven... Six, which it certainly can be. Then eight and five must be in those cells. Could eight and five be in those cells? Yes, I don't see why not. That would make this a one, three, four set. That would be seven and nine. One, three, four, six. These would be two, eight, and five. If this was nine, eight, five, um, ah, oh, then six and seven would have to be in the. Oh, six. Of course, six cannot be in these three cells because of that six. Therefore, it can't be in these three cells. Therefore, the six in this column is in this sum that adds up to twenty-two. Wow, there we go. Sorry about that. Right, 9, 7, 6 are there. So, didn't I just work out what that meant these would be? I thought I did. Let me... Oh, of course, and 4 can't be in these cells. That's perfect. Therefore, 4 can't be in these replicant cells. So, 4 in this column is up here, and this is a 1, 3, 4 sum. doesn't involve 2 or 5. It's a 1, 3, 4 sum... Um, and now, yes, now two must be on these cells. Therefore, two is on those replicant cells and can't be in the white cells in that column. And now we know that they are 258, both there and here in the replicant. So we can get rid of eight from those. Right. Oh, and look, seven, nine. Let's get rid of this nine seven nine pair in row six so these other cells in the row are three four five and eight now these are two five and eight but we've got a two in one of those cells and indeed in one of those so the central one is not a two now this on the clone has become three or four this has lost the two as a possibility so it's one three or four um, so two is in one of these cells. Yes, two is in one of these cells and also one of those. That uses up the twos in column seven and eight. So there's a two up here in box three, which has otherwise got absolutely nothing in it. Oh, what? Still keep looking at this adding up to 21 and making absolutely nothing of it. Now, these have to be the same, and we've only got two candidates. Does selecting either of them have any power? 
if they were three, for instance. Um, yeah, if they were three, we get that as one or four. Ah, oh, if they were three, these are from four, five, and seven then. That's one or four. I don't know. No, it doesn't really seem to differ either way. Maybe I'm... Ah, oh, either the top end or the bottom end of this is a two. And that means one of these two cells, because of the clone, is a two. And I don't know if that helps anything at all. I am going to pencil mark them just because I've thought of it, but it's not actually that useful. Six, seven, nine... These seven being the same, being different. Ah. Those seven are different, and one of them is not seven or nine. Does that mean... It doesn't mean I can put a seven or nine in there, no. Um, oh, well, sorry, I've got to think about this a bit more. Still missing something here. I just feel it. That eight cage. I just don't think I can use that yet. Um, those three being the same as those. They don't include a two. That's obvious here as well. That's not new news. Those four adding up to 21. Keep looking at that. And yeah, I don't look at those adding up to 19. Ah, this... Okay, this can't be 2-5, this 7 cage that repeats down here. Because down here, if that was 2-5, you couldn't fill those two cells. So, it's either 1-6 or 3-4. If it's 3-4, the 4 can't be at the bottom because of the given digit. So, we are getting a little bit of candidate reduction. Now... What? Ah, if that was a 3, then get a three there, but you'd also get a four in those two cells, a four on the clone sum because of that being a three. On the on this sorry, on this clone cell above the six. It's not a sum. Um, so you'd have all these fours. That would have to be a four. There'd be a four in one of those two cells, but I bet it couldn't be... Oh no, weirdly, it couldn't be on the clone. Oh yeah, yeah, look, this doesn't work. This is brilliant. Right, never mind that it couldn't be on the clone there. Well, Doom... Uh, it, it can't be on that cell of the clone, because that's this cell, and that would be seeing one of these fours. Yeah, I'm postulating basically that this is a three. That's what I'm assuming. And this seven cage is a three, four. Then we get fours there and there. That three means this is a four. That gives us all of these fours in the grid. That must be a four. Where is four in box one? It's got to be in one of those two cells and it cannot be on the clone because it would clash on the other end of the clone with this four. And th this is going to be a problem in row 7 because the 4 has to be given these two 4s. The 4 would have to appear in one of these three cells and it can't because it would clash in box 2. Good grief. So this is not a 3 and this is not a 4. This is a 1-6 cage. I hope that's going to help because otherwise that's a lot of work to establish something useless, which is quite possible. Yes, a 1-6 cage there makes this a 3. So we've got another digit in the grid after those first giveaway sixes 19 minutes into the video. My goodness. Um, so there's not a three there. One of these two is a three. That's not a three. One of these two is a three. And that means these two don't have a three in. They're on the clone, so those two don't. Ah, come on, come on, keep going. Haven't resolved the seven and nine at all. There's a two in one of those. What about 
Um, the one six pair. Six must now be in one of those two cells. One, ooh, if this is a one, well, that's not, that's not actually the way to think about it. It's much more restrictive if this is a four, I think. Because that makes this a three. Oh, this clone cell. I still haven't ruled this out from actually being a four. It was only not a four if that was a three, four pair. Right. Let's have another look at this being a four. And that would give us five, seven next to it. And that would put two and eight in the killer cells there. This would have to be a nine. Ah, it's an interesting look at, but I don't... Ooh, this 19... Oh no, this... These now add up to 17, not including a one and a six. Uh, they've got to have a 9 or an 8 in then. Um, and there's another one there. So that's going to use up the 9s and 8s in the column. One, six, nine, eight. So we've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 left. Now, these that make 17, are they 9, 3, 5 or 8... Oh, 854 or 827. Oh, that's a lot of possibilities. Irritatingly. Um, one has been confined to those two cells. I haven't marked that off here. One is in one of those two. Now, if that's a one, then we get a one here. That makes this a four and this a three. This becomes three. Ah, so there'd definitely be a four. Yeah, that's quite interesting. If this is one, you get... No, which way, which way around was I doing it? If that's a one, you get a one there, four and three. Because four's there, four must be in one of those two cells, then four's in one of those. But, alternatively, if the one isn't there but is here. Oh, I thought that was also going to give me a four in one of these cells. No, that's nonsense. Okay, I'm on the wrong track there. Let's try again. Eight, nine, six. Oh, what am I missing here? Come on, what's this cell? Is that interesting? It's got to be in a 90. Yeah, we've got a 19 cage without using a one or a six. I think, again, that's got to have what well, could be 298. Actually, it couldn't, because that couldn't chime with those cells in the box. So there's no 2 in that. So if it's, so it's either got a 9 or an 8. Is that right? Oh no, seven, yes, it can't be seven, six, four. It does either have a nine or an eight. How can I use that? If it's a nine, it can't be with eight, two, one, nine, or six, four. It must be nine, seven, three. If it's an eight, we need 11 more. Can't be eight, three, or six, five. Can't actually be two, nine. So there's definitely a seven in it. It's either 973 or 874. It's going to be 16. Ooh, if it was 973, that would have to be a 4. We'd get a 258 triple down here. If it's 874, that's a 5. So that's either a 4 or 5. It's not an 8. 874, 165. Then you'd have 932 down here. That would make that a 9. I can't see the problem. Good grief. This is crazy. Ah, oh, eight and nine have to be in this box up here. That's been so for ages. Does that actually do anything? It means nine is in one of those two cells in box four. One of them is there on the clone. That would put nine here, nine there. 
9 in one of those. That would make this a 973 triple with a 9 not there but up there. Oh, 9 can't be in the 8 cage, obviously. This might be... I don't know, I think the, the, the trail runs dry. Um, for maybe I need to think... This is either... Or no, yes, it can't have a 3. Oh my goodness. Where does 3 go in this box? In this cell? On the clone? Clone clown. There we go. Okay, so 3 is there. That's not 3. Right, that's got to help, surely. Um, he says, thinking it must help and not sure that it does. Three there, come on. Now, there's a two in one of those. These still struggling to put a nine in here. Can that be a nine? These are adding up to 17, aren't they? I think there were quite a few possibilities for that. Um, threes in one of those two cells. Oh, goodness gracious. I haven't thought about those three being the same as those for a while, but I just can't see how it helps. Ah, oh, if one of those was five, then these would have to be two and eight. We'd have to have a five in the middle cell of this X, Y, Z part. We'd have fives in all of these positions. I can't see what that does. I cannot tell. Um, one there. One is here. One is here. One must be in those three. We know there's a one in there. There's a one in there. All sorts of places are, so not there. So there definitely is a one down here. Um, anything on the clone that's impossible? No, not obviously. Maybe if that was a one, which forces this to be a six. I think the sixes, though, are very able to be mix, mixed and matched. It would give us a one in these positions. That would force a one here. Uh, that one is not on the clone, so that would be a four, so that's not a one. That would be a one. One there, and then finally one up in the corner. And no harm in that, because two, yes, I can see where two would go in Columns 9, 8, and 7. Um, and I can't see why that breaks anything in the puzzle at all. Is it this 19 cage? Is it the 6, 8, 9? Crikey, what am I missing here? These two cells. They can't be... They can't include a 6 because down here there's a 6 in the box. If they can't include a six, and they can't include a six, six is up in one of those two. Oh, and look, there's a six pointing at that one. So we can put a six up there. Then we get a six in one of those. One of these, we know one of those is a six. We know one of those is a six. These three cannot be sixes because of this box. So six is in one of those three cells. And therefore, the six in row seven is definitely here. And I have a feeling that trail runs dry at that point. But that's nice to get another digit in. Um, we weren't considering a six for that cage. Oh, come on now. These being 21, that's just always felt quite significant. Um, Nine and seven is the maximum, which would make these two and three, which is not possible. Neither of them can be a three. Ah, none of these digits can be a three. So three is in this cage. 
10, and then we need another 14. 359 are the, therefore, the missing candidates. Good grief. Right. 359. That cell is 3509. This one is 509. 359. So this has become 8, and now maybe we've got some traction. Got 4, 2, and 7 for the rest of the column. Uh, I was going to say that can't be a 2, but it probably can. Okay, I'm not sure about that. Let's have a look at this cell on the... on the... Um, on the clone. That can't be a 5. 8, 9, 6, 3. Oh, this is anything from 1, 2, 4, 5, and 7. Not 4, at least because it can't be a four in this cage. One, two, five, or seven there. So seven, one, six, or three there. That's absolutely not helping. <laughs> Surely we've got some progress now. This is that three, five, nine, triple. Does that not, doesn't get anything done, does it? Um, if this was a four, does that give us a problem? It puts one there. If that was a four. Oh my goodness, I'm not good at scanning with clones. This this we have learned today. Um, ah, now this 19 cage. This was either nine, it's got a seven in it, hasn't it? And the seven's not here. So it was either nine, seven, three, or eight, seven, four. But none of those digits are from eight, seven, four. Aha! So that's nine, seven, three, as long as my earlier logic was right, and I'm gonna trust it. Nine, seven, three. So this one is now three or nine. Nine, seven, three, six, one. So four is in one of these two cells. Can that be here on the clone? Could be. Yeah, it could be, annoyingly. Uh, but now it can't be here. In fact, the 4 in box 4 has to be there. This can't be a 4. 6, 4, 3. One of these is from 7, 9. Oh, this can't be a 2. Four, five, eight, seven, nine. There's a 3 in one of those. Come on. Oh, four, one, six, three, seven, nine. So we've got a two, five, eight triple down here. Um, one and three must be in these cells, but there's a one in one of those two. So one is down at the bottom. Three could be anywhere. Can I? Oh, that's not a three because of this. Six, three. One has to be up here, but I've known that for ages and just not marked it. This can't be one, eight, nine, six, three, or seven. Crumbs, have I got the same numbers penciled along here? I have, annoyingly, I'm up to date with that. Right, there's gotta be a four in one of those two now. Um, okay, that is quite interesting. This is in box eight, there has to be a four in one of those two. Now, that means in box five, one of these two definitely is a four, and that means in box six, one of those is definitely a four. They can't be seven, five. And that, when you transfer it up to box two, means that this knuckle of the snake is a one. And that's on the clone. Right, so that's not a one. That's not a one. That becomes a four. That is no longer available to be a four. Four. Four is in one of those two cells in the column, so it's not here. Uh, I don't know why that's gone green. That was not the intent. I was trying to get the four out of the corner. And in fact, we know that four is in one of those two, and four is in one of those two, so it has to be the shared cell clone-wise, which is that one. So we get a four there. We take it out of that possibility. Got a two-seven pair. Five must be in one of those two cells in box two. So that's not a five. And in f oh, we knew one of those was... Okay, one of those is now a five in box eight. 
So that isn't a five, and that's the top cell of the clone. It's amazing in this puzzle how you just keep having to transfer between things. I really get the sense I have not covered myself in any glory with this, but I am entertained. Um, now, what's going on here? One and six are missing from all of those cells. It's a two, seven, three, five, eight, nine, sextuple. Hurrah. So one and six creates a deadly pattern there, but it's obviously going to be resolved by the clones. Um, and that doesn't even help me. Okay, we've got one six pair in the row. Eight, nine over there. Four, three. So this is from two, five or seven. I'd love it if it couldn't be two, but I can't establish that yet. Two, five, eight, six, four, one. That's from three, seven or nine. Oh, that is so likely to be a four in both positions, and yet I can't prove it. It would put a four, yeah, it would easily fill the grid. Now, if it wasn't a four, we'd get... Ah, oh, that doesn't work. If that was a four, we'd need a four there, and we can't have one. Right, I should have spotted that, especially as I've marked it there. The four in the row is now here, so I can prove what I was trying to prove. We get a four there, uh, and I've just worked out I can place all the fours. Can't be in the eight cage, so they're all done. First digit to be fully placed in the puzzle. Right, this can't be a one because it's in the same cage as a one. So that now is two or five. Oh, that still doesn't resolve this two, five, seven, triple. That's a two, five, seven, triple. Does that do anything with the one, two? I don't think it does. Seven, nine pair in row eight, four, seven, nine. Two five eight triple bang in row seven. That makes this a seven. That's on the clone. That's up there. That sorts out the triple box two is suddenly complete. Right now, surely we are motoring. Um, that has become a nine. I didn't know that was a cell. Oh yeah, that's there. That's all right. Um, this is now a two eight pair. And that means fives in the middle of those three X's, X, Y, and Z. That's not a five. Um, four, five, seven, two, one, six. That, no, I was going to say it's a six, three. Oh, this is an eight. It can see two and five now. That's not a seven. We've got a three, nine pair there. Seven, nine, three. This is a two or eight in the box, but it sees an eight. So that puts an eight at the beginning of the snake. That puts a two uh, near its tail. This is a seven in the row now. Probably has been for a while. That's a nine. That's a five. Eight, three, five, seven, two. Three on the snake. Three, seven, nine. Ah, oh, finally this is coming. Right, the, that's an eight naked single. Seven and nine in the other cells. Eight, nine and six. Then we can fill in the six and not the eight and the nine yet. Five and three up here. Yes, we can do them. One, two, seven at the top. We can do all of those. And finally, this puzzle is coming to heel. That's a six in the cage. Three and eight down there, and that does resolve the columns eight and nine. Still haven't done that one and six, but now one and six, they're on the clone. That does our deadly pattern in rows four and five. And finally, we limp weakly over the finish line with an eight and a three there. One, that's a seven. Nine. The last digit is a seven. That matches the clone digit. Wow, that was tough. I did not find that easy. I think I should have been a lot quicker than 40 minutes over that. So well done if you were around that time or better. Um, congratulations. And 
well done to Gruffles. That that really was entertaining all the way through and and it made me struggle. Great fun though. Thanks ever so for watching on the channel as always and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now. Thank you.